Farm to Taste. Farm to Taste. This is so exciting. We have an amazing show scheduled for you today where we're gonna be talking about all things food. Wonderful, wonderful food. Where it comes from, what to do with it, how to choose great foods from the grocery store and how to read a label, and then also how to put a snack together. Very exciting. We also have a special guest from WIC and she will be up with us in just a little bit. And we have a video that we created. Oh, oh gosh, when was it? 2012. Eight. Was it 2008? Eight. 2008? 12? Eight, Eight years Whatever. ago. Whatever. It's been a long it's time. Been a it's long been time. a long time. So. But farm to taste. And I just want to show you what the farmers brought in to us this morning. Right. One of it is from this right here is from our school garden. Yes. Right here in Mount Dabble Unified School District <coughs> over at Riverview. And um, Farmer Kathy brought this in. <laughs> and this is Romanesco. Go. We had been saying it wrong. Romanesco and purple cauliflower. But I wanted to show you and compare what comes off the farm. Yes. And I had a friend over on Highway 4. She has um, Aglantis. And if you pull these leaves off, these are the leaves from, oh wow, they're really intense here. And if you pull, can you pull those back? We want to pull them back and we want to show, show you. you. Can you see that? Yep. That is the Romanesco right there. And this is the same. We, this is from a farm, an organic farm. And this is from our farm, our mini farm here right in the school district. We are growing the same kind of food. So if you've never had Romanesco before, you can't get it at all stores all year round. This is one of those what I consider like a delicacy, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's oh, yeah. just amazing. And when they pop into the grocery stores, I always get them. They're one of my son's favorite vegetables. The only one that he'll really eat like a pile of roasted Romanesco. Yes. He loves it. So the and this texture, is a combination yeah. of cauliflower and broccoli together. So it's not as pungent as broccoli. Right. And it's a li has a little bit more flavor than the cauliflower yes. Romanesco. Romanesco. And it is seasonal. It's grown locally here you can get it now you can get it in Trader Joe's um, Safeway has it uh, sprouts yep. um, they all have, all have it randomly it's randomly it's not in all the time yeah in the farmers market and yes. the farmers market yes. right now and look at this oh this reminds me of when I was a kid remember cabbage patch kids They're so cute. this little cabbage is right from the garden um, from my friend's farm but we're also growing them here right on campus yeah. And the great part, I mean, it isn't tight like what you see in the um, in the grocery store, those tight, big yes, ones. Yes, yes. This is more um, heirloom, but everything <clears throat> is so tender. You chop it up the same way or mm. chop it up and put it into a soup mm. or saute it. Saute. Oh, yeah. You can even chop it, and I've done, um, like, steaks, right, where you chop it like oh, this yeah, and you yeah, do yeah, a yeah, whole, yeah. right, and then and you, you throw it in it. the oven and you roast, and it. You roast yeah. it. Yeah. Then you can put some, like, tomato sauce and some cheese, oh. and it's like, it's Delicious. really good. Delicious. Really good. And I awesome. want to also show you, here's all the greens. Mm. And this came from the school garden. So we have two different kinds <laughs> of, isn't this great? This woman, she literally knocked on the door like an hour ago. She walked in with this giant basket of green goodness that's just been grown yes. and picked. Look at these, all of these It greens. just makes me so happy. My body, my cells in my body are just tingling looking at this. Yeah, because, because you can see the richness. It's the vibrant with vitamins and minerals and nutrients and enzymes and antioxidants and fiber and water and all of the things that your body needs. The six greens, essential nutrients. Yes, greens actually even have protein as well. Absolutely. absolutely. Amazing. So Amazing. I just want to say every week, um, Kathy said she's going to be bringing in um, whatever's growing in our local gardens around here. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I asked I her know. if next week when she pops in, if she could give, because she gives garden lessons, if she could tell yes. us what they're learning, because yes. she brings the kids out into the garden. Yes. And what are they learning right now? And let us share that with you. So I'm going to put right. this um, in the back here. Right. Now. What's growing? What's seasonal? What's fresh? What's happening in the garden? Because every season's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. D depending on the sun, how much sun we have. Oh, so always today the sun. we are going to be making from our cookbook. From the cookbook. Fat Chance. Fat Chance Cookbook with Cindy Gershon. Okay, so what are we making today? Turn to the page, give them the page. We are going to turn to the page. I'm just doing it like, you know, long, the camera, they want to see it. You know, we're doing the thing. 
we're, we're doing the in, things. We're plugging the book. We're plugging the book. The, the story behind this book is actually amazing. Is this the day that we're going to talk about the story behind this no, book? No, next week. Okay. Because okay, Dr. Okay, Lustig, okay, who I wrote okay. the book with, he'll be our guest next week. Yes. Oh, I'm yes, very excited so we're about talking about coming. the history of where this book came from. It's really amazing really story. Amazing. I love it. Okay, okay, so until then, we are on page 117. Of course, you can get this book on Amazon. I highly recommend it. I think we probably have three copies. At least. Well, there's one right there. <laughs> there's one okay. there. There's so one here. There's one all off, over the place. They're yes. starting off with yes. our oats. So I have yep. rolled oats. I don't use the instant or the one minute. This is regular old fashioned rolled oats. Mm. Really important. Okay. okay. Beautiful oats. All right. So we've got six cups of rolled oats. And it's right in here. Mm -hmm. Then what's the next thing? Um, well, it says to whisk the wet stuff together first, mm -hmm. but is it okay if we just kind of well, dump it I'm all gonna, in? I'm going to do the water. You okay. Can do water Half a cup first. of water. Half a cup of water. Half a cup of some kind of oil. Now, we were talking about today that we could actually, in place of the oil, you could put, um, you could put half oil mm -hmm. and half of our peanut, whatever kind of peanut you could put, almond, you butter, can put like an almond, almond butter, butter peanut yes. butter, or something yes. like that, because you want to have some, some fat. Yes. It's good for your brain, it's good for your body, it makes it taste good, it gives it yes, a Yes, it gives it a palate, it gives it a palate. It gives right. it a palate, right? right? And your brain, it needs fat. I know that we went like fat phobic back in the 80s and 90s, and we all went fat free, that didn't work so well. No, and Lustig's mm -mm. gonna talk about that, mm -hmm. what happened to us, mm -hmm. and what we replaced it with, but we're not gonna say right now. No. We're gonna, Keep the suspense. One topic okay. at a time. Okay. That's it. So now we want to add in some, uh, a tablespoon of cinnamon. And Rosie likes cinnamon. So this is a big heaping, tablespoon. Heaping, heaping tablespoon. And you can also, um, you can also put a little nutmeg. You can put nutmeg. Nutmeg would be okay. Whatever you want. Right? Yeah. Just All spice it. would be good yes. in this. Nutmeg. So we're also going to add a tablespoon of vanilla. And with that as well, we're doing vanilla right here. This is the basic recipe. You could do any kind of extract that you want. Almond, There's lots of different flavors orange. in the store. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. You could grate orange peel into this. Lemon zest would be so what? good in this. Now we're really going wild. Okay. I like your style. I love little pieces of orange zest. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay, so now okay. I've got this all mixed up and you can see I'm doing it in one bowl, which sure. is kind of cool. Yeah. So we like seeds. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell me something positive about, these are sunflower seeds and they are just raw. Delicious and nutritious. See, what's cool about seeds, and this is actually something that people get a little bit nervous about, is they're so robust. I mean, think about one seed creates a whole tree with millions of seeds in it, or a whole flower with millions of seeds in it, right? Mm -hmm. So like one, one to the many, 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 which means that it has to have everything that that little plant needs to thrive and to grow mm -hmm. all of the nutrients. It's dense. Protein, That's why the bit. fat's in there, because your body everything. needs it. Yeah. Plants need okay. it. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have how many? Many nuts? Oh, thank you. This is a one cup of raw nuts. We just did the mixed nuts, mixed like whatever nuts, kind of nuts that you there. like or that you want. Throw them in there. Throw them in there. Almonds are good. No Cashews. Nuts. If you don't want any nuts, you want to put more seeds. Yep. Feel free to do that. Absolutely. Okay. So I am mixing this all up now. It does call for raisins after. Afterward. And I'm going to tell you why we put it in afterwards because it's going to dry out mm -hmm. because these have moisture in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to wait. Otherwise, they're going to be as hard as a rock. So I'm going to set those to the side and now I'm going to put my granola here on so my sheet pan. In the recipe it actually does call for a quarter cup of honey or sugar or maple syrup or something like that. Personally, I don't really like to have any added sugar in my diet yes. if I can help it. Refined. Refined. Refined, right. refined added sugar. Well, that's what so added means. So this will be but, yeah. the sugar right here that right. you put in. That'll so give sweet. So I know that I'm going to be eating this amazing granola. So I'm just going to leave the sugar out. You can add it in if you want to add a little bit of sweetness. Kind of, It does encourage yourself and others to <laughs> eat a little yeah. bit more of it. Oh, and this smells so good already. And it changes the texture and the consistency consistency and the flavor a little bit, even though it's just a little bit of sugar, honey, but we're going to leave it out of this I'm going to leave it out. Um, we're going to pop this into the oven yes, right now, and then at amazing. the end of the show, it'll be done. We'll stir it a few times. I like every, I put it in a 350 oven, and every 15 minutes, I just kind of stir it. It takes, and you want to dry it out too, so it's real nice. It says and it takes it about in. 25 minutes. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to stick this over here. Excellent. Now, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about, um, 
what we're going to be doing today because we're going to be showing you a, vid a video in about five minutes called Label Reading 101. We did this. There's a good story. There's a good here. story. Okay. <laughs> so um, we're going to compare and contrast in, in a few minutes, but I want to tell, tell you just story. a little bit about the story. Um, about, I met Dr. Lustig back in 2005, and um, I had been, we had talked before that I had been very overweight, and we talk about our story in, in, in the Fat Chance Cookbook. And so we, together, Rob Lustig and I, started Wellness City Challenge with Doug Reed and some people, and he was a filmmaker, and some people that we were together, and we said, we're gonna tell the story of what processed food, especially sugar, does to children. So we had some funding and we did Label Reading 101. And Doug Reed, who was a filmmaker at the time, he, we said that there was three things that you had to do, and we're gonna be talking about that today with label reading. You have to look for the fiber content, and that's what you get. You don't have to read a label if it's real food. Anything that's packaged, you need to read the label, so we're gonna teach you to do that. So it has to have three grams of fiber in a serving. It has to have no sugar in the first three ingredients. And it has to have less than five, four more, leave it at the store. And that goes with drinks, and that goes with a lot of the food, depending upon if it's added sugar, and if it's, if it's added sugar, if it comes naturally. So he'll explain more about that next week, and you'll see it in the video. The young man that showed up, because we hired him as an actor to do this video, when he showed up, he could not remember his lines. He was 13 years old. So we said to his mother, what's that? She goes, I just don't understand. He had spent the night at friends. <laughs> He'd so spent the night at friends. Oh, wait, wait. Your... She says, wait, wait, hold on. She says, <laughs> he's a little off. Let me get him his sports drink. I just looked at him and what do you mean? She goes, as soon as I give him his sports drink with the caffeine, he'll be fine. This kid was like 12, 12 11. 13, 12, 13 yeah. years old. Yeah. So it turns out the night before he was at his friend's house. So I sat down with him. I said, tell me what you ate yesterday, this last night. So typical he said he had Gershon. pizza. What did you have for breakfast? What did you have? <laughs> they had stopped so on the way in and had yeah. donuts. donuts. He had had and pizza and sports, sports drinks and sodas. But it was a monster. It, it, was, it, a was, monster. A it was a caffeinated energy one. drink. Yes. And, and she just went, well, no wonder. No but wonder. a lot of people don't, they don't understand that. They don't put the pieces together. Had, they don't connect. Hold on, hold okay, on. Okay, 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 you weren't there. I was I there. Know, but I, I really so love this. Had, I love telling the story. We had okay. to tell this child and yeah. his mother, you are in no shape to do yeah. this. Yeah. And he had to come back the next week. I sat with them for half an hour after that, yeah. and I said, this is how you have, they took pen and paper, and they said, this is how you prepare before you go before the camera. This is what you need to do. You need to get a good night's sleep. Yeah. And I said, not only does this happen before, you know, he was an actor, he wanted to be an actor. Yeah. Before class, before school, what are you eating? What are you sleeping? What are you doing the night before? Yeah. Yeah. And it changed his life. And so now you're gonna see this video of this kid coming back the next week. <laughs> he and he on. had an oatmeal and fruit and yogurt for breakfast. <laughs> he had a good meal, went to yeah, bed, yeah. and he no longer drinks sports yep. drinks as of then. I mean, changing this is people's ten, lives. changing people's lives. With just a little and bit of love, a little bit of education, a little bit what? of guidance. We, without but he had good personal education, experience he had too. The personal experience. It's so powerful. But without education, without skills, and without accessibility, yeah the child has no chance to excel in school. Yeah. So this show, so I think you're gonna be showing it now. Is that about right? We're gonna go right into it. Enjoy, we'll be right back. If you wanna have energy and be healthy, you need to know what you're eating. Did you know that there is whole food and food products? You won't find a label on whole food, but you find a label on food products because this is processed food that is engineered to be convenient, last a long time in the store, and taste good so that you want more, which does not mean it's good for you. You wanna be smart about what you eat and knowing the basics about labels puts you in charge of making smart decisions about what you put in your body. 
every label looks pretty much like this. What's in it is over here. And here are the percent daily value numbers. The percent daily value number is the percent of what one serving gives you out of the recommended 2,000 calories in one day. Here's a cool trick. Always begin where it says ingredients, which is rarely at the top. Look at the first ingredients. If a sugar or a sweetener appears as one of the first three ingredients, it's a dessert. A salad dressing that has sugar as one of the first three ingredients and you put it on, your healthy salad just turned into a dessert. Believe me, it's a dessert. How can you stay healthy if you eat desserts all day? That's what many folks do, but they don't know it. Be careful, there are over 40 names for sugar. Finding the added or hidden sugars is the key to choosing something healthy to eat. Too much sugar turns to fat in your body. A lot of people don't know that. The sugar you really want to watch out for is high fructose corn syrup. It's put into all kinds of food because it's cheap, but it has no value for you. Just empty, harmful calories. Your body does need sugar, but only the right sugar. Now read the entire list of ingredients. Do you know what all the ingredients are? What's that? If you don't know what an ingredient is, chances are it's an additive designed to preserve and enhance the flavor. It's not food. Remember, whole food, food products. They're not the same. Now we can go to the top of the label and evaluate. Serving size is all about one serving. Servings per container will tell you a lot more. A small package sometimes contains two servings. Ask yourself, if there are two servings in a package, will I be satisfied by only eating half the package or will I want more than one serving? Calories. Obviously, the more you eat, the more calories you take in. If you want to know how many calories are in the whole package, just multiply the servings per container times the calories. Whoa. Now look at calories from fat. Actually, oils and fats are important to your health. But let's get this right. Basically, there are three kinds of oils and fats. One, healthy oils and fats that come from plants, seeds, and fish. Two, not as healthy oils and fats that come from animals, like saturated fats. And three, man-made oils and fats, like partially hydrogenated or trans fats that you do not want to eat ever. Let's say the calorie number is 200 and the calories from fat number, 120. That means that over half of the calories are from fat. Keep the calories from fat number less than one third of the calorie number. All partially hydrogenated or trans fats should be eliminated completely. The trans fat number must be zero. Sodium. Sodium is salt. Salt naturally occurs in many whole foods. The recommended daily value for sodium is less than 2,400 milligrams a day. But really, your body only needs 500 milligrams a day. Watch out for sodium because it's easy to consume way more than this in a day, especially if you eat food products. Here's an important number. Dietary fiber. Look for three grams or more for every 100 calories per serving. Fiber is essential for a healthy digestive tract and help balance blood sugar. Fiber comes from plants including fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, you know, whole food. The recommended fiber intake is a minimum of 25 grams a day. So you're gonna have to eat quite a bit of good food to reach 25 grams a day. Food products may taste good, but they don't have much fiber. Sorry. There's a lot more to know about labels, but the most important things are as easy as one, two, three. One, look at the ingredients list first and make sure there is no sugar in the first three ingredients. Two, make sure there are no partially hydrogenated or trans fats ever. Three, 
make sure that there are at least three grams of fiber for every 100 calories per serving. Remember, there's a difference between whole food, no label necessary, and food products, where a label is totally necessary. If you want to make a difference, read labels at the store. It may be too late once these products are at your home. If you follow the three simple steps, you'll feel and look great. You'll have lots of energy and you won't have to stress out about the food you're eating. Now go teach everyone else around you. They probably don't know how simple healthy eating is. Can you believe how relevant that is <laughs> after that all awesome, these years? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, yeah. it's when something is the truth, it lasts forever. And just staying with those three concepts, mm, so you know, powerful. three grams and 100, you know, 100 to 120 calories, mm -hmm. three grams of whole grain fiber. fiber. fiber and then, fiber. you know, sugar, where is the sugar? Yeah. How much sugar and where is it added? And it's in everything. Mm. And then trans fats. You know, zero. we're going to be talking about Hard the zero. different names that they've given. Hydrolyzed, what do they do? The hydrolyzed or whatever <laughs> it is. Hydrogenated. Yeah. Partially hydrogenated. Hydrogenated. Interesterified. Inter oh, That's there's a weird one. so many names. So we mm. are going to be talking because we're just going to stay with those. If we just stay with those three concepts. Yeah then I think we're in good shape. Yeah. I've, we've got all kinds of things to read the label here. And um, these are things we went to, I went to Trader Joe's last night yep. because we have a 12 year old, well, I have a 12 year old grandson. Yes. And a lot of these things are in our house. Yeah. So we're gonna look at some of the positive and some of the choices that you, oh God, can you smell that granola? Yes, I sure it can. Is, it is delicious. It's delicious. Oh, so it's So she toasting did. She just up. got in there and stirred oh. it a little bit. So you kind of like, you know, bring it in from the sides, do a little stir, keep it going. It's so really we good. looked at things that yeah. that would be good choices that you can make. Right, to right. think that people are going to make everything from scratch, some people do, but some it's people are working. It's a lot of yeah. time. Yeah. And so you want your children to be able to go in the closet and say, hey, get your snacks out put things together, maybe yeah. they're staying after school to play a sport and they want to be able to have things in their backpack that they're going to be able to snack on, that in fact if you put a few things together you could actually make a meal out of it. Mm. So we know that you have to have you know some kind of grain, some kind of you know um, complex carbohydrate, you know fruits fall in that, veggies fall in that, but also fats too, right? And fats and proteins and a lot yeah. of times your fats are your proteins, like nuts. Mm -hmm. They are really both. Cheese. Mm -hmm. In fact, cheese is the only food product that is a fat, a protein, and a carbohydrate. And that's because milk wow, that's has deep, lactose. It okay. has milk in it. So that's true. it can be a complete it can be a complete meal in itself. But um, we like to take things and combine them together that you could take with you that have the fiber. So yes. um, here's... Very exciting. Very because exciting. Because not everybody needs snacks, honestly. I, I don't eat snacks. You don't eat snacks. You don't really need them. I mean, maybe like once a year if I'm like snowboarding all day or I'm hiking up some crazy mountain, right? I'm not, I'm not an athlete and I'm not a growing child anymore. Mm -hmm. So I don't really need to eat more than three times a day. I, personally, I keep it really simple. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yep. However, there are times in life and some people, especially if you're an athlete or if you're a growing person, right, a child, that you need to have a little bit more during the day to kind of sustain your body and it's growing and it's multiplying and all these cells are happening and it's really exciting. So we want to make sure that we have some snacks on hand that are also nutritious, yes. right, for that beautiful growing body, that thriving body. And it's not about weight loss, it's just about nutrition. It's about feeling great and having also, energy. Also, there's been times mm. when you're stuck in the car maybe you're going to right I typically and always have an apple and or some nuts in my car because you're right I 
you know, even though I don't typically snack, sometimes things happen and my dinner is pushed off by hour after hour after hour. Or maybe and you can't get to your dinner I and you get, need to make a dinner. You're stuck on an airplane. Make so a choice. Make a choice. Yes. So these are the things because you never Great. know life totally. happens. Life so happens. We want to show yep. you how to make your best choices. Ooh, how do I don't label do read? How do I label read? So I'm going to be showing, maybe you could um, remember where it's school. Okay. So um, you want to take a look at what's in this. This is little guacamole. Little guacamole. Yeah. Okay, so show the guacamole. I'm going to show the little See, guacamole. See, this is really cool because this is a serving size in one little pouch. And it's portion control, portion which is what control. we need. Portion control. It makes it so easy. And then you don't need like a knife or anything. You just zip it right open. So the ingredients here is avocados. Yes. Green. Vinegar, water, jalapeno peppers, mm -hmm. salt, dehydrated onion, and granulated garlic. Awesome. Everything you recommend, you I can recognize, recognize all of it. Yes, of I know what so this is. So we want to put this into the category of. You should have it in your fridge. This is a real Plus, food. It's a real food. Yeah. Plus, um, I also wanted to talk about um, what you see in all this is a lot of packaging. We have to be very aware of the environment. Also, it, they kind of go hand mm. in hand. The environment here, but the environment <sighs> there. Yeah. These little containers. I always say to the kids, save them, wash them because you can use them. These are great to take to class if you're gonna be painting in class. So always oh, think in terms oh, of reuse, it. recycle. Reuse, 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 reduce, reuse, reuse, reuse. I love that. So you can take these little these yep. little cups and you can save them for other things that you're doing. Awesome, okay? thank you Chef so Sydney. So I am going to set this to the side so this is a positive. What I would dip into it um, is you can put it on Right here, you want to take a look at this? Yeah, see, this is really nice as well. It doesn't really actually have a lot of fiber. So if you're right. looking at the label, and you're like, what's up? I'm not sure what's happening here. But what's really nice about these is that the ingredients are organic brown rice and salt. How awesome is that? Yes. Just super simple. I usually, I like to think of these as like a nice, crunchy, um, vehicle for my fruits and my nuts. Cause yes. I like to have it with a little nut butter and a little like fruit, a little banana or cinnamon or something on the top for breakfast. Right. So it's a so delivery good. system, but don't be looking at it as, I mean, it does have calories, yeah. but it doesn't have any fiber and fiber is what you're going to need for your gut. So, but Always we're, we're going to put fiber. this like, yeah, it could be. All right. So right here, what about this? Ooh, everything but the gluten. Now, gluten is a whole nother topic. Another topic, but we're what's not going to get in the, into that right now. But basically, what that means is that they've had to make a what we have you know grown to love, which is crackers, right? And go, hmm. If we're not going to have gluten, what are we going to have? And so they've had to be a little bit more creative. So there's sunflower seeds and oat flakes and sesame seeds and flax seeds and corn flour and quinoa flour and onion and garlic and all kinds of wonderful things. And what's really nice we about having recognize, variety. We recognize everything that's in we here. So we're it. saying read the label. So can you tell me what the calorie content is and the fiber content? Whoop, excuse me. Um, okay, so calories is 160 and the fiber is four grams. Which is good. That's, That's very pretty nice. darn good. How That's very close. Um, total included added sugar zero. That's what we're looking for is the added sugar. Yeah. Okay. So this is a good option to use over here. I think it's better than the rice cakes because it has fiber in it. Yes. Okay. That is All accurate. Right. So the next thing I think we, we're looking at, of course, anytime you have real food like blueberries, strawberries, oranges, apples, carrots. Mm. You don't need a label. Nope. There's you don't it's nature has balanced mm. the fructose mm. which is in everything. Yep. With the fiber. So yep. this slowly absorbs and vitamins and, and minerals, vitamins and minerals enzymes. and it's in oh, there. It's just but I wonderful. wanted to and you know, if you were going to have to choose my first choice would always be an apple. Always the real fruit. Always the, the real fruit. fruit. Yeah. Always the real fruit. My second choice would be applesauce. Yeah. And in this applesauce, it says all it has is apples and organic, just the natural flavor from an apple. That is all that's in here. Again, these little containers right here. Reuse. Reuse. I love that. Wash them, mm -hmm. keep them, mm -hmm. use them. You can, you know, you can put pudding in there. You can put, you can I store. love the paint idea. The paint. It actually makes me want to go paint. paint. Or Play-Doh Play or little Legos. Rose. I mean, there's Rose. a million options. Focus. 
focus. We're right here, right here. I don't, I don't know I what's know. happening right now. <laughs> okay. We could go off forever. Well, see, th this is one of the points that we're going at here is that you can get almost anything fresh, alive, and vibrant, less processed, less chemicals, less weird ingredients, less added sugar. But you have to read the labels. It 100%. seems like these are exactly the same. They're not exactly the well, same. Let me open this up and show them. And this is the squishers. The squishers, what are they called? I, I guess know. you've seen this where they you hand it to your baby and they can just take this top yeah, off. Yeah, it's so easy. And, but you can't reuse this for anything. No. This is and like totally into the... So it's organic apple puree, organic apple juice. That's added sugar. Right. Juice is added sugar. So they've concentrated, taken all of the good fiber and everything right. out and then added it back in, which it doesn't need it. And then apple juice concentrate. So it's got both. Yes. So this definitely has added sugar, 2%. So what we want to tell you is um, if you're, this is all from Trader Joe's, I would go this first, this last, this first. That's first. Applesauce. Second. And then this, I mean like, dire straight, leave it in your car in the front seat because your <laughs> child will like lose his mind if you don't have something to give them. But um, yeah. the best is this, and then the yeah. core just goes right out there. Yeah. So um, we also have different proteins. We've got your baby bells. We've got um, Trader Joe has now this organic string cheese. Wonderful organic turkey breast. Again, there is a difference. There are probably that. 15 that. different products that look, they all look exactly like this. But read the They are not down. exactly this, exactly. Yes. The ingredients on this is organic turkey breast, water, and salt. That's it. That's it, which is really nice. Doesn't Easy ingredients. The nitrates, there's no nitrates, there's nothing that you go, what is in this? Right, exactly, which is beautiful. And again, feeling confident in reading a label and knowing what to look for, it, it, it makes the whole shopping experience a lot more fun as yes. well because you know that you're doing something right for your body, for your children, that little mom guilt disappears. It's really powerful. These are the things that I shopped for last night and last I got these um, Snyder um, pretzels and they just had flour, uh, oat bran, yeast, soda, and that was it. And these were the only ones that I found that were just so clean and wonderful like that. So um, I want to um, just say, you know, here are some of the things that you get. All of the plastic. Think in terms of how you can recycle, reuse, but think about the health of your body. Make sure that you use, that there's always some kind of protein, some kind of veggie or a fruit or a fat. Be looking for, we're going to be talking about this. This isn't the only time we're going to be talking about this. We're going to be talking about this all the time. But we have a guest that we we're going to be bringing in. And Rose is going to be interviewing her. And yeah. we are going to be bringing in, well, I'll let you introduce her. Cool. Marlene, yay. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. I learned yeah. so much as well. This is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys? And you are from? Uh, so my name is Marlene, and I am from the Contra Costa WIC program. Uh, I'm a registered dietitian, and I work in public health. Okay, so I know what WIC is because I had WIC 12, 13 years ago when I was pregnant with my son. It was a little bit of a challenging time for me and I really needed some help. And so I got some help and one of the help that I got was from WIC. So would you maybe tell them what WIC stands for and what it is that you guys do? Absolutely. Maybe a history, like when did it start? Sure. So WIC stands for the Women, Infants, and Children's Program. We are a supplemental nutrition program. Uh, and there are three large supplemental nutrition programs that serve low-income pregnant uh, moms as well as children, uh, preschool kids, so under the age of five, so from zero to five. And the history is, you know, in the 1960s, hunger was a problem in the United States. Oh, yeah. uh, and at that time, doctors were seeing pregnant moms and their preschool aged children and saying, you know what? Wow. You guys are malnourished. Yeah. We need you to get nutritious foods, you need to be healthier. Uh, and they gave out vouchers to these moms. Um, 
and to use for their children and they were able to go to the grocery store and get nutritious food so fresh fruits and vegetables um, whole grains milk um, because they were malnourished and so um, the voucher system started did it um, help? did it help it members? absolutely helped and so um, with the child nutrition program what they did is they uh, instituted an act so I think President Nixon was one of the ones who did this uh, and they started a, a, a program which um, initiated this supplemental nutrition program where they provided vouchers for fresh fruits and vegetables nutrition education you know practicing food safety uh, and so, you know, WIC became kind of a resource in the community where low-income moms would go to to get access to fresh fruits and vegetables um, and other foods. Um, you know, so like you said, you participate in WIC and you, how did you find? Did you think that it was a great resource for you? You got education? Yeah, it was incredible. They even, they talked a lot about breastfeeding as yes. well. I, there was a bunch of breastfeeding classes mm -hmm. that I went to and the importance of the mother, and this is I think one of the reasons why it's, it's women, infants, and children yes. that you serve because if the mother is well fed, then she's producing healthy, nutritious, you know, perfect food for yes. the child. And then so the infant is fed through the mother. And then as the infant starts to grow, they still have resources for the child to continue on being able to get, you know, buy food at the grocery store and not have to make a, a choice between getting nutritious food for you and your family and your children and like paying rent. Yes. Right. So it, it's a way to help support specifically nutrition for the mother and children. And it was it was fascinating because I didn't really know a lot of the information that they were teaching me and sharing with me. Yeah. Um, it also was really nice to have the community want to support women who were kind of struggling yes. financially with food. Like the food is so important to the way that we think and your motivation, your mood, your attitude, your outlook on life. If you're not fed well and you're stressed out by that, like your, your body is stressed out, your mind is stressed out because you've got this kid you're trying to care for and feed, then how are you supposed to look into the future and become better? Yes. And so it was really supportive for me at that time in my life. That's I was very awesome. grateful for That's it. That's really good. Um, yeah, so our, you know, our strengths are being a resource in the community. We want to, you know, get the mom onto the program. We give her all the education she needs prenatally, so before she has the baby. Right. You know, this is how you should eat. You know, you should exercise. Yeah. Uh, we work with the doctors if there's any sort of chronic diseases, like if mom has gestational diabetes, you know, we help her keep those, you know, um, really supportive goals, and she can meet those goals by eating healthy, by staying active, Active, and breastfeeding is, is our number one. Number one, one first food. Yeah. First food first for food. baby. So you have an education piece that goes along when, like, like when the mother first comes to you, you do step one, step two. Is there a way that we could possibly get you to come back? and begin to show us what a step one would look like? Absolutely. Like, because I think that that's something that that all men and women need to know before they have children. Yes. Because if you can get that education in the school, you're like doing it after, right? Yes. When they're pregnant or they're, they're coming to you. But if we could back it up and the information that you have, if we could actually introduce it to school-age children, then it just makes your job easier and then it becomes, they know where the resources are. Our goal is, like we said, with even with the young man from Label Reading 101, these were very smart people that had gone to college. The mother and the son was in a private school, but they did not have this simple information yes. that it needs to get to them earlier. So maybe WIC would come and we could be a vehicle to get to the young families before they have young families. Because after being here 12 years, my students that have graduated from high school are now, ha I mean, they're having children. They're becoming parents. They're becoming parents. Yes. Yeah. And what I, we teach them in foods and nutrition and yeah. in here, they're always coming back to tell us, thank you so much. You gave me, because I didn't get to a go foundation. to college. A foundation. Yes. So if you have the information, and that's what our show is about, 
It's about everyone needs the education. Then they need the skills. Yes. And then they need the accessibility. And it sounds like WIC has all three. Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh my God, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Here we go, mobilizing the resources of the we community. We are, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. bringing um, it to the children is um, absolutely key. Teaching it in the high schools is really important. Just, you know, just putting that information out there that we are a resource in the community. We do nutrition classes in our local high schools within the school district. So we yes. go there and we teach about nutrition, food safety, uh, breastfeeding and breast milk as being the first food for babies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just caring for your body while you're pregnant um, so that you can have a healthy baby and have healthy outcomes. So it's really just that public health message of, you know, eating well, staying active um, and also, pulling resources from your community and having that community support yes. you, bringing your, um, you know, your grandparents or your mom or your partner or that support person to your WIC appointments yeah, so that cool. they as well can learn about, you know, mm -hmm. what we're teaching the mom or the child or, you know, how they can parent together and really support each other. So we, we, we love that. It sounds like we're on the same page. We absolutely are. So the school system has all of the children all children are mandated to go to school. Yeah. And if we can invite you in to our mandate to do that part of the education in collaboration with the yeah. teachers, yes. it also lifts the teachers yeah. because Rose was well educated. It by the time she had a child, you had graduated from college, but sure. yet her focus was communication it wasn't foods and nutrition at that point. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just because you are got a master's or you've got a degree, and my husband was a pediatrician, he did not know about the importance of nutrition. <laughs> he <laughs> knew about the importance of, yeah. of, of breastfeeding, mm. but how many doctors let the formula people in to give the bag and the free things to the mother, not understanding that it actually undermines the mother and it undermines, and you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, yes, yeah. So um, even at you know Crossroads where we have pregnant teens and our school, they so wanted to be in there to help those young mothers. And when I was teaching 10, 12 years ago, teaching nutrition over there, I was coming in and showing them how to cook. Yeah. And it was like only one mother out of all of these young women was breastfeeding ah. because they had been given the formula. And another thing that I learned from those young women is that if the male, their partner, doesn't support their breastfeeding, they won't do it. Mm, because yeah. if the male doesn't understand the importance of that for their child, they think it's gross. Oh wow. They think it's ridiculous or wow. you know. So it's important that this information, if we can get it to all children from kindergarten yes. straight through, then it just becomes this is what we do. Yes. This is how you treat a child, this is the resources, this is a community yep. and it has nothing to do with religion or race or you know where you were no, from just you have yeah. a human body you do yeah. yeah and we teach them the resources give them the education that they right. need to advocate for themselves so that they if they want to yes. breastfeed this is what they're going to do um, and they have the education in order to be able to tell their medical provider oh this is this is my plan this and is my breastfeeding plan this is really my birthing plan hard it is still having children it is still yes. really hard to get your voice heard when you're already feeling vulnerable as it is. I agree. And maybe you're tired sure. and maybe you don't want to fight. You're definitely tired. You're definitely <laughs> tired and such. So I believe that it takes yeah. the whole community to support the yeah. woman and the child. There's uh, the bell. There's the bell. Raise your hand <laughs> if you have a question. We're here at school. Yeah. We are. Yes. Yeah. Um, maybe you could just say a little bit about where you went to college what you because you know we're career technical educators and so we've got children looking at this like going hey i really liked you <laughs> i was inspired by you how did you get there and maybe they would want to do what you're doing so could you Sure. Tell you how you got inspired. So that's a great question. Um, I started off in nutrition. Uh, it's my second career. My first career, I did funeral service education. Um, and I just realized that 
people were passing away from chronic illnesses that could have been, mm. uh, you know, actually reversed with uh, healthy foods, eating healthy. You know, Hippocrates, Hippocrates once said that uh, food is thy medicine and thy medicine is thy food. And I thought, oh my goodness, like I can really, you know, get this education, um, become a dietitian, and go out into the community and just, you know, give them the ac access to the information that I have. Um, and that is out there. Um, you know, like you guys pointed out, like choosing fresh foods over a packaged food, you know, eating this fresh apple, you have access to all the vitamins and mm -hmm. minerals right here in this mm -hmm. one apple. <laughs> and no and plastic. There's no plastic container. Yeah. Uh, and everything you need is right here. And you can throw it on the and, ground. And it can be composted, absolutely, and enrich the environment as well. Um, and so I, you know, I went to school in on the East Coast. Uh, I went to Brooklyn College. I got educated there. Uh, then I did a one-year uh, internship. Um, I worked at John Muir, which is a community hospital. Um, got a lot of experience there. And then I really thought that my heart was in public health. Um, I really enjoyed working in community nutrition at the WIC program where I volunteered. I did a, a lot of work with them. And I so thought, you suggest volunteering I to volunteered. see what your passion is. Absolutely. Mm, I volunteered at food pantries. Mm. I volunteered at City Harvest in New York City. Wow. Uh, we did a lot of community. Um, I worked at a CSA garden. Um, mm. So this was like really a you community. You went from farm to taste. I did from farm and to farm taste. Farm to taste. Yeah. You see the connection I with did. all of it. And community gardens was really my passion. I wanted mm. children to be able to see that food can be grown on your balcony it can be grown in your backyard and it is so easy to grow these foods and then learn about how these foods can nourish your body so just like I said thy food is thy medicine let thy medicine be thy food yep. and we have all of this in our fresh fruits and vegetables and so I thought this is a career that I want to follow. I want to be able to take this message. I love working with kids. I have two of my own. They yeah. love cooking. Um, and so this was my passion. And I'm so happy to be a part of the community uh, working with the WIC program. Rose, we're getting Being her able to be here. We're getting yeah. her yeah. She, she is a now on to taste girl. She's a farm. I am. You've I have been recruited. Am. Thank you. I, I accept. I totally accept. Yes. So. Um, you know, I just I just love being a part of the community and just teaching kids, um, you know, how they can incorporate, advocate for themselves, be able to be educated shoppers when they go to the grocery store to read a label and to know, oh, this is going to nourish my body. There's no added ingredients that I really don't need. It's as basic and nutritious as it needs to be. So, um, all right, that's we're, what I love. we're going to wrap Amen. this up together. But instead, we're going to have you, I'm going to have you two with your nutrition education. I'm going to stand back here as a chef. You girls go and put me, give some ideas on what to do. Oh, for Move a snack? Forward. For a you snack? You guys, oh. yes. Oh. Oh. Girls, you oh. go. Okay. Okay, they're going. They're doing it. I'm going to grab You're the gonna jicama gonna jicama sticks jicama. here. Because um, these are my favorite. Um, and what would you put with those? Oh, so the jicama sticks, I would actually do uh, just uh, do a lime. Uh, put a little bit of cayenne pepper because I love all things spicy. Um, maybe even cut a little bit of mango to give that lime juice and that cayenne pepper a little bit of mango, flavor. Like mango. Mango with, yes. mango with jicama. Mango with jicama. What is even uh -huh. happening right now? I would now. even My grab a jalapeno if I'm not feeling the cayenne and I want it even more spicy, a little bit more tropical. Yep. I would toss my jicama sticks in there and I would eat the mango and the jicama together and that um, would just make my heart and my tummy melt and I'd be so happy. Uh, yeah, I really do love jicama sticks and you know, there's a lot of high school kids who have their braces. Jicama sticks are okay with braces. They're not too hard and so uh, you can absolutely eat this. So do you um, put well. a protein with that also? Do you put, because um, UCSF said you put you put two food groups for together. For a snack, yeah. For a so snack. having a protein will give you that fat, that flavor will help you, the protein will help you stay full longer. And so it's always a good idea to pair your snack, a protein, a carb, or vegetable, and a protein. Um, so you can have a baby bell here. Um, there are some people who use jicama sticks like celery sticks. We would do either sunflower butter or nut butter or oh, hummus. Did you see the sunflower seed she's got going on here? This is brand new. This Compare one? Compare those two labels, Rose. Right. So this is actually really interesting. 
if you just look at these sunflower nut butters, seed butters, sunflower mm -hmm. seed butters, you can't really tell that there's any difference, right? I, and I actually have made this mistake before. I was like halfway through one of these one time when I finally looked at the label and I went, what is happening? So this one right here says roasted sunflower seeds and salt. Cool. This one here says roasted sunflower seeds, powdered sugar, cane sugar, cornstarch, salt. Wow. What? But I can see what? the difference. I mean. Yeah. But right? It doesn't look like on the front, yeah. you actually have to read the label. I'm showing her. Sorry, yes. you guys. I know that you can see this too now. <laughs> the spread. The spread can get always you. Read. Always read. Always read the, always the, read the label. Yes. So Ingredient. the lesson here is you can get pretty much everything that you want. You can get tomato sauce without added sugar. You don't have to make the tomato sauce yourself at home. You can get ketchup without added sugar. You can get nut butters without added sugar or oils. You can get almost anything without added ingredients that you don't want inside of your body so that you don't have the consequences, but you have to be intentional. When you go to the grocery store, you have to be able to read the labels yes. and feel educated about that. Okay, and so this is mine. what you're looking for. What are you looking for? So important. Right. Okay, so my snack is going to be the rice cakes because you saw me just drooling over these a little bit earlier. I'm gonna put some nut and seed spread on that. This is really nice because it is, um, almonds, oh, this is just like all, just an almond butter, which is really beautiful. And what I'm gonna do there is I'm then going to add fresh strawberries on top. If you have not had this combination of rice She's cake, a foodie. nut <laughs> butter, <laughs> fruit, little sprinkle of cinnamon, delicious. delicious. Okay, yours, <laughs> it's you, it's on. So more than my jicama stick? Yes, okay. yes. Um, well, you did show that you had here some guacamole that was already pre-packaged in a beautiful serving size. Uh, and then here we have some quinoa um, tortilla chips made with stone ground white corn, red quinoa, and black beans. So I hear a protein, here. I hear a carb, and, in it. and I hear seeds. Um, so the ingredients are stone ground white corn, sunflower oil, uh, red quinoa, black beans, garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, water, and a trace of lime. Nice. I think this is a great pairing for one of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and, agree. And if you like hummus, um, this is a really good hummus dip as well. So you can pair your um, quinoa chips along with your hummus, uh, and that is a great snack as well. Um, you know, there's some turkey breasts here. Mm. Uh, sliced oven roast uh, turkey breast, where we read the ingredients for you. So uh, very basic ingredients, just turkey and a little bit of salt. Um, I can even take this, roll it up. I can put some of this avocado on there, a little bit of fat, and I have my crackers on the side. That's another great pairing for a snack. And you can throw some blueberries on the side. Um, I think that would be absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the good old, good old celery with a little nut butter, a couple of raisins sprinkled on there. That's a really nice snack oh, as well. Oh, you know what they call that? On the log. Ants the log. The log. Yes. 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 log. My kids the love log. that. Mm -hmm. And that's where you can that. use yeah. these little containers. Yeah. Yes. And you can put your peanut butter in there mm -hmm. from the jar. Mm -hmm. Also, when you're done with your nut butters, wash them out and use those when you make a homemade tomato sauce or you got something super something left over. You can put it in there and send it, make your own applesauce. Yeah. Send it in the jar with idea. your kids. And those are that. plastic, reusable. not yeah. glass, reusable, mm -hmm. and have the kids come back. So we're yep. always talking about how we can reuse, reduce, and take everything. Well, you were talking about composting at home. At home. Mm -hmm. At home in the green bin. All of the waste can go into the green bin. Yeah. And look at your grocery store too. They are mandated to take all of your plastic bags back. And if you rinse all of these things out and they have no food waste on it, save it. Take it back to really? your grocery store. Yep. Oh, wow. And Ooh, they will. Of your food products? Of this, if it has the no plastic food, on the this food plastic. Wow. Not, the, not with the cheese, that. What it comes in. Really? These bags. You, as long as it has, take them all back. you put all your plastic wow. together, all your plastic, and you Learn take it back, every day. and they will then, they make it into those plastic bags. Nice. So we can help the to reuse mm -hmm. and reduce, and all of your food waste goes into the green bin. Awesome. 
Yeah, that's I awesome. I am so excited that you came to be with too. us. This I am is too. awesome. Thank you. By the way, I want to thank Trader Joe's because yes. we buy a lot of our things here at Trader Joe's yep. because they come in smaller containers and um, the cucumbers, all of these, and read mm. the labels and keep it simple. Keep it, keep simple. it simple. Carry snacks with your kids in the car. You never know what's going to happen. Mm. Um, Wait, and the granola. Can we see the granola? Oh, oh I can oh, smell it. That. It smells oh, so good. Granola. That's what's happening. I can yeah. feel the warmth okay. and I can smell it. It's a whole experience. Food is oh, so yeah. much fun. Oh, look at this, Rose. Yes, wow. Mother. Yes. yes. Look at it. It is so toasty. toasty. Yes. Perfect. Now, now is when we add right here. the dried fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay, dried fruit goes in now because you want it to be to stay soft. So how, yes. I, typically for granola, what I do is I have it with yogurt and fresh fruit in the morning. Mm -hmm. But that could also be a snack, a little bit of yogurt oh, yeah. with a little bit of granola on top oh, yeah. of it. Or you could even do like a rice cake with a nut butter and like sprinkle some granola. It just kind of depends mm -hmm. on how you want yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Awesome. Is that wonderful? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's our Perfect. granola. Perfect. Yeah. They got it. I love Very it. Very good. Very All right, good. you guys. So this was snacks. Beautiful, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. And label reading it. 101. We taught you label how to read. Label reading 101. If it, you, if it is real food, you don't need to read the label. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anything in a package. And what we would like to tell you is eat more things that come from the garden than what comes from the factory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like go. it. I was maybe thinking one last thing. How do people get in touch maybe with you or with WIC if they're like, oh my goodness, I'm pregnant. I would love to have access to some more groceries and some nutrition information. How, like, can they just Google it? Like, yes. how do they get so a hold you, of you? You can actually go online at cchealth.org slash WIC and uh, you can add, there's an apply uh, for WIC tab that you can go to. Just put in your email and uh, address, your information. Uh, and it will send us an email and then somebody from our local WIC office will contact you to set up an appointment. Yeah. Um, yeah. One question we need to ask, um, do they check to make sure that you are, what if you are a, You have to be income eligible for the program. But what if you are not, um, if you're undocumented or you're just visiting? That's you, totally fine. Okay. Yeah, there's no so questions asked about. There's no questions no. asked about being immigration, immigration status. status yeah, we are or in anything. no charge, uh, no public no charge No public program. charge program. Correct. Okay. Um, yeah. Your information is going to be on our website. You're going to be one of us. No problem. I'm here. <laughs> I love it. You're part of the crew. Same team. And yeah. this, I love it. Oh my God. Yeah. You know what? Mm. Teamwork, yeah. teamwork makes, makes the, the dream, dream work. work. Oh, okay. Yes, hey, thank you so much. And